welcome to today's Aussie results update. The Aussie girls have made it through to the semi-finals for the ITF World Junior Tennis Competition. Ashley Barty led the way with a 2-1 win over Canada. Prue Ryan has all the latest from the Czech Republic. Well, it was a day of high drama, excitement and ultimately mixed results here in the Czech Republic for the World Junior Tennis Final today. Blake Mott opened for Australia for the boys against a very, very strong Chile team. He raced to a 6-1 lead in the first set, Chile won the second set and Blake lost in a heartbreaking 13-11 in the third. It was all downhill from there unfortunately with the very strong Chile team taking the tie three love. Isabella Baisha opened for Australia in the girls competition against Canada. She played a fantastic match, really really fought very hard which has become her trademark this week but unfortunately lost in three. So it was up to Ashley Barty again to come out and play Canada's number one, an amazing looking girl called Francoise Abanda. She's only 13 years old and she looks, she's an absolute dead ringer for Venus Williams. As is her want, Ashley didn't let this put her off and smashed her 6-4, 6-1. A fantastic win for Ashley and levelled the tie for Australia. Ashley then teamed with Leanne Hong and the two girls came out swinging in the doubles. Unfortunately, they lost the first set in tie break, going on to win the second and the third and taking Australia through to the semi-finals. Tomorrow they play the Ukraine. I'll be back with some more updates from the Czech Republic tomorrow. Thanks to Prue Ryan reporting from the Czech Republic. Sam Stosa has made it through to the quarter-finals of San Diego today. Stosa beat American Melanie Uden in straight sets to move into the last eight. She fell behind 3-1 early in the first, but quickly hit back to claim the win at 6-4, 6-4. In Vancouver, Alicia Mollick was beaten by Gabriela Dubrovsky in her first round match in the US hardcourt season. Leighton Hewitt's US Open preparation suffered a setback after he was forced to retire from his first round match in Washington. Hewitt was trailing 7-5, 3-2 against Colombian Alejandro Feller when Hewitt pulled out with a calf injury. No worries for his Davis Cup teammate, P. Luchak. He moved in the quarterfinals of an ATP Challenge event in Austria with a three-set win. Nick Lindell also had a three-set win in Vancouver, while Marinko Matosevic beat fellow Aussie Matt Ebden. A couple of Aussie winners on the future circuit, Jared Easton and Brendan Moore, while Andrew Whittington bowed out in Thailand. Looking ahead, Sam Stosa will play either Maria Kirilenko or Flavia Panetta in the quarterfinals of San Diego. Yelena Dokic will also look to extend her winning streak in the ITF circuit. She faces Carly Gullix in the first round in Vancouver. Dokic is the number four seed and is coming off consecutive titles in France and Romania. In the men's draw, Nick Lindell plays top seed Taylor Dent, while there's another intriguing all Aussie clash coming up between Marinko Matosevic and Chris Guccione. Ben Mitchell and Maverick Baines are yet to play at a Futures event in Spain. Mark Verreth takes on Jameer Jenkins in Illinois. That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow with all the latest Aussie results from around the world.